Singh Sukhu has been elected as the Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. He will be taking oath tomorrow. The Congress High Command has uh, put its stamp on the name of Sukhu, after which his name was announced by the observers who are in Shimla. Mukesh Agni Otri will be the Deputy Chief Minister. The oath taking uh, will happen at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Malitarjun Kharge, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra will be present uh, at this ceremony. But all is not well in the Congress party because uh, Pratibha Singh, wife of late Veer Bhadra Singh and uh, Congress chief of Himachal was sidelined. She was snubbed by the high command, Rani Saiba as she is uh, called by her supporters. She was hoping to get this top job. Her supporters came out in large numbers and said that if Rani Saiba is not made the chief minister, Himachal Pradesh Jalega. मुझे एनएसयू का अध्यक्ष राजीव गांधी जी ने बनाया युवा कांग्रेस का अध्यक्ष मुझे सोनिया गांधी जी ने बनाया प्रदेश कांग्रेस कमेटी का अध्यक्ष मुझे सोनिया गांधी जी ने बनाया और गांधी परिवार ने मुझ पर जो एक साधारण परिवार से उठकर राजनीति की जो सीढ़ियां मैंने चढ़ी है उसमें गांधी परिवार का बहुत बड़ा योगदान रहा इस योगदान के लिए मैं उनका व्यक्तिगत तौर से धन्यवाद करता हूं मैं सभी हिमाचल की जनता का और श्रीमती सोनिया गांधी खड़गा जी का और राहुल गांधी प्रियंका गांधी जी का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद करता हूं क्योंकि मेरा गवर्नर हाउस पे टाइम है गवर्नर हाउस के टाइम के बाद मैं आपसे सबसे मिलूंगा आप प्लीज करके मुझे जाने दीजिए फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी पहली प्राथमिकता अभी ओथ लेने की है उसके बाद कैबिनेट मीटिंग होगी फिर आपको बताया जाएगा मुझे एन एस का अध्यक्ष राजीव गांधी जी ने बनाया युवा कांग्रेस का अध्यक्ष मुझे सोनिया गांधी जी ने बनाया प्रदेश कांग्रेस कमेटी का अध्यक्ष मुझे सोनिया गांधी जी ने बनाया और गांधी परिवार ने मुझ पर जो एक साधारण परिवार से उठकर राजनीति की जो सीढ़ियां मैंने चढ़ी है उसमें गांधी परिवार का बहुत बड़ा योगदान रहा इस योगदान के लिए मैं उनका व्यक्तिगत तौर से धन्यवाद करता हूँ वो सर्वविदित है क्या डिसाइड हुआ सर्वविदित है हम हाई कमांड का जो फैसला है उसको मानते हैं सर्वसम्मति से सारे विधायकों ने सुखविंदर सिंह सुखू जी को विधायक दल का नेता चुना है कल उनको मुख्यमंत्री पद की शपथ दिलाई जाएगी उप मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में मुकेश अग्निहोत्री जी को पदासीन किया गया ये हाईकमान ने निर्णय लिया है अभी हम कुछ मंत्रियों का ही शपथ करेंगे उसके बाद मंत्रिमंडल विस्तार बाद में होने का मुख्यमंत्री जी तय करेंगे विधायक दल ने कल सर्वसम्मति से हाईकमान को अधिकृत किया था विधायक दल के नेता चुनने के लिए और हाई कमान ने आज सुखविंदर सिंह सुक्खू को कांग्रेस विधायक दल का नेता यानी मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में चयन किया है और उप मुख्यमंत्री के रूप में भाई मुकेश अग्निहोत्री का नाम चयन किया है बहुत बढ़िया चलेगा और पूरे अब देवभूमि से जो संदेश है पूरे देश में जाएगा You heard the reactions. You also heard from uh, the new chief minister, Mr. Sukhu, and supporters of Pratibha Singh. They are clear in their demand and perhaps intent. Let's open this up. Sanju Verma, the national spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Mr. R. Raj Dopalan, senior journalist, Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, leader of the Congress, and Lokesh Jindal, uh, Congress leader, also on the show. Good evening to all of you. Now, Mr. Chaudhary, I want to begin with you. Do you think all is well? You have got a mandate. You now have a CM face. But did you hear what supporters of Pratibha Singh said? Himachal will burn. 
Well, uh, good evening, Pranish. My opening statement will be that it's a clearly a Bernal uh, moment for Fadnavi's party who were waiting like vultures on a chartered flight sent by Himanta Bisha Sharma. Jokes apart, you know, all these things is a figment of imagination created by the Bhatia Janta Party that uh, no, no, are you saying, not Mr. Well Chaudhary, Mr. Congress. Chaudhary, are you saying but, you these know, people you that you heard thing, even... are BJP workers? Or the BJP has planted its workers to chant uh, Rani Sahiba Ji Jai Ho, Rani Sahiba Ji Jai Ho, Rani Sahiba Ji Jai Ho. I said, uh, Pranish, Pranish, the Bhatia Janta Party has sent a spokesperson out here. So let her reply to her, but no, my no, comment. No, no, I am only asking you to answer the question I asked you, Out Mr. of Chaudhary. 29 states. I am I'm, I'm coming to that point, just give me the courtesy. Out of the 29 states, 20 states, Bharatiya Janata Party is out of power. That's the bottom line and that's the story. The Himachal Congress has elected a new chief minister out of the most democratic processes by consultation amongst the legislature, among the high command and among the contenders. Unlike the Bharatiya Janata Party which had to wait for 15 days to replace Himanta, uh, to replace Mr. Sonowal as, uh, and uh, bring in Himanta Bisha Sharma as the Chief Minister of Assam. They had to wait for 10 to 15 days to get a government in place in Madhya Pradesh. They had to wait for 10 to 15 days in Maharashtra to get a new cabinet in place. And you are talking all about this is because of the Congress party. We are very much united. Don't try to create any divisions within the party. The okay, party Sanju Varma and most to that. under the, the Congress is not divided. The, President the BJP Pradiba, is trying to divide Pradiba the Congress. Singhji. You know, Pranesh, now I heard that long speech by Kamru Zaman. Uh, and let me just say, yes, I'm the national spokesperson of BJP, uh, unlike you, who's not even an official spokesperson. Now, uh, you know, since you've been taking many pot shots at the BJP, let me uh, be a bit gracious and say that we intend being a constructive opposition. Congratulations to the Congress party on its victory. But if you are growing and glorifying your victory in Himachal Pradesh and you fail to mention that you were wiped out in Gujarat from 77 to 17 seats, you were wiped out in Uttar Pradesh, two seats despite Ladki Ho, Lad Sakti Ho, you were wiped out in Manipur, only five seats, you were wiped out in Uttarakhand, you were wiped out in Goa, you were wiped out in Assam, though you said that we will... Uh, you know, come back to Assam and ensure that uh, the likes of Himanta Biswa Sarma never make it to the CM's post. Unfortunately, that did not happen. So you can continue to hallucinate. You can continue to see Mungeri Lalke Haseen Sapne. The fact is BJP today rules more than 52% of India in Bottom terms of territorial area and more than 54% in terms of population. Of Please power. keep quiet. I did not disturb you. Story. Pranesh, this is no way to debate. I did not handle this man. Mr. Chaudhary, you asked her a question. You said uh, let the spokesperson respond. Now when the spokesperson is responding, you are interrupting. Yes. Can I? This man has a habit. He will interrupt. But when he is interrupted, he will play victim. See, Sanju Verma does not allow me to speak. Shut up. I have been decent. Now please shut up. It's my turn to speak, not yours. Let me say one thing. Pradesh, and since Kamru Zaman does not understand the meaning of the word grace, Pratibha Singh supporters clearly said Himachal Pradesh jala denge. She clearly said that, you know, when asked by a reporter, do you think that, you know, you were not selected because of Jati Vaad, Parivar Vaad, she actually had the audacity to say, don't ask me these kind of nonsensical questions. This was her exact language. And in Maharashtra today, it is Ashok Chavan versus Prithvira Chavan. Versus okay, let me bring in the Nana others. Now, Lokesh Jata. Jindal. It's dicto. Okay, Lokesh Jindal. You are you? Do you agree with uh, Mr. Kamru Zaman Chaudhary's assessment no that uh, Congress is not divided? The BJP is actually trying to create a rift. First of all, uh, I do not like this particular attitude of BJP spokesperson saying shut up and such forms of uh, conducts. 
No, no, Shatam is not, not a civilized way of debating. No, 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 listen. No, no, we don't she endorse needs it. To, no, no. It's, a, it's a civilized debate. No, no absolutely. It's a civilized I agree. Debate. No, no, Lokesh Jindal. Whatever she is. Lokesh Jindal, we don't endorse she that. We don't endorse that. No, I take your no, point. No, no, I take she your needs point. To, she will not to allow anyone to use this kind of language, you know, whether it is for anyone. Shut up is not not allowed. Shut up is not the right way of this. is not responsible commentary. Now, Lokesh Jindal, make your point. I concede your point. Stop teaching. Uh, secondly, stop abusing the again, 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 let him speak. Let him make, make his point. Woman, let's be civil with each other, please. Does not know what to talk and when to talk. Yes. I now, uh, uh, when I'm talking about Himachal Pradesh, uh, so shut up. Now, Sanju Verma, please be civil, ma'am. If he tells you shut up, what will you do? You will get up. You will get up from the debate. You will ask me to intervene. No, please, please, ma'am, please. I mean, you know, you are national spokesperson of the BJP. Do you think the Prime Minister will endorse this language, ma'am? No, please, please. Ask him to stop abusing the Prime Minister. He's not abusing the... He's making a point. You you counter him with facts, ma'am. Please. Now, Mr. Jindal. Mr. Jindal, make your point. Yes. Uh, see, uh, when I'm talking about Congress as a political party, it's a leader-based political party. The masses, they have their leader. And accordingly, every mass wants their leader to be given the power and authority. So that is the process of democracy. But if we look at the entire uh, synthesis that happened over a period of 24 hours, we see that Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu, a humble man who started from the scratch, went on, is going on to become the chief minister. And Pratibha Singh Ji, she has accepted the decision of the high command. I mean, there is no infighting at all. Whatever was the difference of opinion is being interpreted and exaggerated as some form of a infighting, a huge form of a cleavage or a huge form of a division in the uh, entire uh, organization. Absolutely not. In fact, every, every congressman in Himachal Pradesh, all over India, they love Raja Sahib. And they have immense Now, can I point out something, Mr. Jinder, very humbly, can I point out something, and I want uh, the attention of uh, Mr. Chaudhary also. Now, look at this uh, picture, and, you know, we can perhaps uh, uh, widen the frame. Just look at uh, Pratibha Singh's body language. Look at her face. Even in the reaction that we have, where she's saying, I accept the decision, look at her face. Look how she's standing. I mean, she's clearly upset, unhappy. To say the least. Uh, these are some form of conjectures, I would say. These okay. are the way you try to interpret things. I see that every congressman is happy with the decision of the high command. There is no uh, heart burning except for that of BJP. Except for BJP, everybody else is happy in Himachal Pradesh and all over the country. So I would say that I think BJP can do a bit better than this and... Let us focus more upon what are the issues that are to be resolved in Himachal Pradesh. Let, let us develop a more of a constructivist approach and look at the challenges that are forthcoming. Rather okay. than Mr. Rajat Opalan, as a neutral observer, what, what do you think you know, of the body language of uh, Pratibha Singh? Is this conjecture or uh, are we missing something? Pranesh, you pointed out a photo speaks thousand views, thousand ideas. A video gives ten thousand ideas. Now, Pradibha Singh is sidelined, not only in the party, in the photograph also, in the video also. And see, the Bupendra Singh Hudda is shaking hand with Suku, and Pradibha Singh was, you know, totally sidelined. Issues are different. I agree with Lokesh Tinder. He is my dear friend. He says crisis is there. He must accept it. There are immense, you know, challenges for the new government. Old pension scheme is a major, you know, uh, controversial one, which uh, before the budget, they have to resolve it. My political reading of the situation, Pranesh, can I call it a uh, spade as a spade? Of course. Other which is why we have not, you here, you know, sir. Panelists should not object to mine. By April, Mr. Sukku government would have gone and Pradibha Singh would come back as a chief minister. What happened in Amarinder Singh, who was thrown out by Congress, the Raja Sabs are not interested in continuing in the Congress because Sonia Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, whom the chief minister now thanked them. Where is Karge? Now Karge has been totally forgotten. No, no, Mr. Khadje will be there. Mr. Khadje will be there for the oath taking ceremony. But has he taken the name of Khadje? No, no, he hasn't. He hasn't. He's thanked the... You show that. You replace the Khadje. 
You replay that again. Why Karge name was not taken? No, no, he hasn't thanked Karge. He has thanked Sonia why, Gandhi, why? Rahul why Gandhi, Priyanka Karge? Gandhi in that Think order. Why he has therefore Karge is only a you know remote controlled Congress president. Why should the Priyanka Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi come into the picture? That is what I would like to know from the Congress spokesperson. No, let's the first, reason is no, no, let's no, no, let's first talk about the concern? April deadline that you are talking about. Mr. Chaudhary is yeah. responding to you. Yeah, April deadline, I say, because <laughs> the government is a very yeah, weak government. Yeah, thank you. We have yeah, let him respond. Let him respond, sir. Let me respond to you, sir. There are four let me, let me, sir, give me the courtesy to respond. You know, Pranesh, Pranesh, yeah, pra Pranesh, let me respond, please. The basic point, you know, we have got the modern-day Nostradamus out here in your panel today. Thank you, sir, for predicting that who will be the chief minister in April. But it doesn't work like this, you know. To be very candid How did it today, work then? How did it show, work now? There is a paradigm shift in the Congress's approach this time. No, let me finish, sir. Let me explain to you whatever points you have raised. Let it be a healthy debate, sir. The Congress's approach in earlier phases of in earlier places was top-down approach. Now, first time in Imachal under the new presidentship of our uh, AICC, uh, Sri Kargeji, it's a bottoms-up approach. The people of Himachal, the elected representatives of Himachal, in consultation with the leadership of Himachal, have come to the conclusion that Sri Sikku, Sukku will be the next chief minister of Himachal Pradesh. PCC president Pratibha ji remains our top leader in Himachal. She has ensured a victory for the Congress after four long years that you cannot underplay. The people of this country are suddenly beginning to realize that there is something else other than the polarization politics that the BJP sought to play all along. Now, 29 states, 20 states, BJP is out of no, power. No, no, but why are you counting Next the number of states that the BJP is in power? Up. This is we not about that, present. Mr. Chaudhary. This is not about that. Now, while you've responded to Mr. Rajagopalan's view about the April deadline, I just want to once again ask you, sir, Yeto, Mr. Jindal calls it conjecture. Just look at the picture. This picture where the bouquet is being given by Mr. Huda to uh, Mr. Sukhu. Look at Pratibha Singh. Now, you are saying that she is a tall leader. Are you saying that uh, she is in touch with the BJP, that this is an engineered revolt, rebellion? Call it what you want to. No, no, Pranesh, you have to be a congressman like me, a con grassroots worker. You know, we are all aspirational class. Whoever is there in politics, there is no denying. We are ambitious in politics. We all want some position or the other. That's okay. fair. That's so this fact. is the Congress then, party you know, now rewarding the, the grassroots worker. Now, Sanju Verma, what's wrong? Because time. now tell me, Sanju Verma, the Congress is saying, had they made Pratibha Singh the chief minister, you would have said one parivar is uh, honoring the other. Dynasty continues. You know, uh, Pranesh, I want to take you back uh, to 2017. Uh, you know, uh, 2017 was the time when, uh, you know, um, Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu, uh, he actually had a lot of uh, discussions with Rahul Gandhi. And uh, if you uh, read, uh, you know, statements by top Congress leaders, they said that next time elections are there in 2022, uh, Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu will be a face. And then, you know, when Priyanka Vadra took charge of the reins in Himachal Pradesh, in 2019, uh, Veer Bhadra Singh's, uh, you know, a better half, uh, Pratibha Singh, she took charge as the uh, leader of Himachal Pradesh uh, Congress Committee. And at that time, the statement by Priyanka Vadra was very clear that she has replaced Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu because A, Sukhu did not enjoy the confidence of the uh, MLAs uh, on the floor of the house. B. Priyanka Vadra is on record saying that they needed a strong a, face a which news. had a, a deep news. legacy. So Priyanka Pranesh, Vadra used Pratibha Singh to take forward the legacy of Veer Bhadra Singh, which is what Pratibha Okay, so the Congress, you are saying, won the polls on the back of Veer Bhadra Singh's legacy, and now that they have the mantle, they want to take forward the legacy of Veer Bhadra Singh. Veer Bhadra Singh's legacy, and now that they have the mandate, they are actually... Okay, Lokesh Jindal, quick comment, 30 seconds. See, first of all, uh, when we are talking about Mukesh Agnihotri, he is very close to the uh, Pratibha Singh family. The entire Congress, uh, 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 like, uh, Congress family knows it. So uh, there isn't any form of uh, opposition to Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu or Mukesh Agnihotri at all. And yes, everybody recognizes the contribution of Veer Bhadra Singh. There is no denying of this particular fact. And in fact, even Pratibha Singh Ji has duly accepted 
and welcome sukhwinder singh sukhu ji well, as the chief minister this, of you know, acceptance last how long this last uh, mr raj gopalan is saying I think will last are, till uh, april we are not getting into it you are like calling it conjecture no mr jindal let's leave it at that i thank all of you for joining us on debate number 1 will the sukhu sarkar survive until when will it survive that's for all of us to see taking a quick break lots more lined up on the other side stay with us